you know the fall of the Roman Empire. Well, you don't know the whole story. Introducing a Roman's Requiem. In this 2D pixel hack and slash mystery game, the year is 476. You will take on the role of a lone, humble Roman soldier who happens to stumble upon a grand conspiracy to finally snuff out the flame of the dying Roman Empire. And who else would lead this rebellion except the evil Queen of Italy? Both of these characters seem to have their own motivations, their own backstories. But who really knows? Perhaps in their clash, the truth will finally be revealed. But of course, the only way to find out is to play a Roman's Requiem. In this game, you will be able to enjoy isometric dungeon crawler gameplay while our hero searches for the sacred armor of God. Armor so powerful, it is said to make the wearer nigh invincible. And perhaps with this kind of power, our hero will be able to confront the evil queen and save the Roman Empire. Along the way, he might even meet real historical figures who will help him uncover the mystery once and for all. And hey, maybe along the way, some heads will roll as well. Now, to give a better idea of the game, here is a flowchart we have devised. First, our hero will enter a dungeon. Simple enough. Then, you'll fight enemies. Then, you'll solve puzzles. Finally, at the end of this long battle, what else to do but to fight the big boss? At the end, our hero is rewarded with a piece of the armor of God that will perhaps lead him to more pieces. And perhaps, finally, once it is all said and done, he will be able to confront the evil queen and come out victorious. But, 1547 years later, it is now modern day Italy. Rome, as we once knew it, unfortunately fell. Nobody knows what really transpired. Did our beloved hero truly fail? Well, now we have a young Italian lawyer who stumbles upon the ashes of this once great conspiracy, digging it up from the shadows. Secrets so unimaginable that they could shake the very earth we all live on. Will this lawyer be able to bring the truth to light, or will they be smothered like they were all those years ago? Find out in a Roman's Requiem. Will your faith hold? Find out December 2023. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk some logistics. Our minimum viable product for this project, at least this semester, is to have a complete storyline for Act 1. Um, now, we will be focusing all our efforts on finishing Act 1. Um, unfortunately, Act 2 will not be able to be completed just because of time purposes, but we hope that this um, full dedication will help come out with a eventually more polished final product. We also want to complete a functional combat system, as what is a soldier if not the sword that he carries? And of course, we can't forget the unique awesome boss battles that we're also planning. Uh, Additionally, we will be using Godot Engine because that's just, you know, a good option. So there's that. Now, if anything you heard at all sounded interesting to you, go ahead and scan this QR code to apply to work on the game. Now, we'll accept anybody who has a passion for making games, or just games in general. But also, we are looking for specific people such as artists, programmers, composers, writers, and bonus points if you are particularly knowledgeable about Christianity and or the Roman Empire, as that will be a big theme throughout the game. 
So, with that being said, I'd like to thank you all for uh, watching this presentation. Once again, check out the QR code if you're interested, and uh, have a great evening. Sanity, a Quake and Terraria inspired arena shooter. This is gonna be a hell of a lot of fun. As of recently, um, the market has, you know, in terms of shooter wise, have been moving a lot to the Battle Royale and tactical shooters like Fortnite and COD, which are just basically copies of themselves. There's not really something new. I really want to bring this obscure genre back to life, so that's why, you know, I'm making Project Insanity for. I want people to have fun, I want people to get frustrated, and I want people to have a good time. So yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, visual inspirations. I really like the map design from Year's Edge. It's clean, robust, and futuristic. I vibe with that, and we're making our maps like that. Weapons! Check out Brutal Doom on YouTube, it's a Doom mod which has really nice and you know weird weapons that are you know never thought about before. We can make some of this in Project Insanity when we have time. Look at it for inspiration. Um, character models? I don't care. You could make yourself a floating cube, a floating cylinder, a sphere. It doesn't matter, you know. What matters is the gameplay and having fun, yeah. Alright, so this game is going to be first person and in 3D. There's going to be quite a few 
spot. First of all, you're gonna be flying around, as I said before. And um, you're gonna learn how to do air B hopping, where when you flick your stick up and while holding your space bar, you get boosted down. But if you, you know, flick your stick down while holding the space bar, you could fly upwards. This could create really interesting scenarios, like you see, you know, the stuff you see in the background. And yeah, there's gonna be no max system, so you're gonna have to find resources around the map. So you're gonna have to learn how to, you know, my resource as well. For the base of the game or the MVP, minimum level products, I really am not looking for much. Ability to, you know, fly around, walk, jump, shoot, whatever is okay. Ability to shoot stuff, cause, you know, this is an arena shooter and that's nothing without guns and stuff. And just a basic map to, you know, move around. I really don't care. You could make anything. We could decide later on as we're going. <laughs> All right. Um, if you do end up developing Project Insanity with me, take a look at um, Quake Lee's maps. There's a um, web version of Quake where you know we could, when we get together, we could check it out. And uh, yeah, check out Unreal Tournament's maps and Doom Eternal's. They have some a lot of space over there and good resource controls. There's not going to be a lot of camping and stuff. Alright, so how am I going to be uh, going about making this arena shooter? Well, first of all, we're going to be using Unity, because Unity's fun and I'm not planning to make money off of it or anything. So, uh, yeah. Basically, uh, stick to the MVP. Don't worry about it too much. We don't have to do too far, but if we get finished early or anything like that, we could create, you know, other stuff like Altfire System. Uh, if you hold your, uh, you know, I took this from Unreal Tournament. If you hold your, uh, right stick, or <laughs> right mouse button down, I played on the controller, um, you could, um, shoot a powerful but slower shot, and, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, creating a UI, so, you know, you gotta see your ammo and your health and stuff. Yeah, peace. Basic. Um, creating the bleed out, this is more, um, inspired by, uh, Mortal Kombat. It's like a fatality system. Once you shoot someone enough, but you don't kill them, uh, they become immobile, and when you uh, melee kill them, you get 3 points, so yeah. <laughs> this is rage-worthy content for gamers. Uh, they can still shoot you though, so yeah. Um, then at the end, we could create bots, you know, like AIs and stuff that can strafe around. They'll be like looking for pickups like armor and weapons and stuff. We'll see what we do from then, but right now we gotta focus on the red. The MVP is the most important stuff. Without that, you know, there is no Project Insanity. It'll be Project Boring. <laughs> Alright? I need you guys. I need people here. I need per people working my team. Why? Um, in terms of programming, we are gonna be making a lot of game modes. Or threes, for too precise. Um, capture the flag, team deathmatch, and you know, free for all. Um, programmers could also make jump pads be possible, slip gates, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, or just 2D or 3D, I really don't care. You just come in and join. Everyone's welcome. You know, this is just about having fun. So yeah, play just thing. We gotta make sure that the movement mechanics work, you know, pretty well, or else you know it's gonna be boring. But don't worry about too much. Map makers, you know, you can make anything, just don't make, you know, campable areas and stuff, that should be fine. And lastly, Quake Enthusiasts, oh, you guys know how to have fun, I want you in my game. I want you in my game, bro. Oh, come in here. Um, you know the, uh, Quake well, and yeah, you could fix any problems that might arise that we get, do not see, so yeah. Um, we're just here to have fun, you know, we're not here to make a, um, you know, something that's really strenuous, you know, cause, you know, if we're enjoying it, we could do better. And yeah, feel free to ask me any questions through Discord, I'm available on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2 to about 5, I'm also available Fridays as well, so yeah, just, uh, Discord me to see if, you know, you have any other times available, so yeah, other than that, take care, and have a nice rest of the day.